Hi, I'm Brant Salt, I'm retired. I was an electronics fitter. I'm totally blind. I'm a guide dog user. The Disability Design Reference Group was uh, in some ways a unique concept where it brought people with lived experience into the boardroom, if you like, and gave them the chance to influence planning at a very early stage. The selection criteria for DDIG members is that they are public transport users, and they are based in Greater Manchester, and also they've got a real enthusiasm for inclusive design and making spaces accessible. Inclusive design for me it should be fundamental for any urban designers and practitioners. The earlier you get people involved, then the easier it is to build those sort of bits into, into the stops, into the, into the trams themselves. The later you leave it, the more difficult it becomes because it then becomes retrofit rather than in the built environment. You see, it's quite nicely designed. When we go out with uh, the DDIG members and look at the finished product and the feedback you get, we are spending vast sums of money and it's good to know that we're actually spending it in the right ways that we're not excluding anybody. Greater Manchester wanted to make Metrolink as inclusive as possible. We've managed to do that through uh, working with the DDRG. We're averaging now about 34 million journeys per annum and it's right across the board, all age groups. So it's a really, really broad cross section of people that we have used the trams. If we're going to change the attitudes towards inclusivity, then we need to be dealing with it at the education levels before people come into the industry. They need to understand that it's a fundamental part of everything we do. It doesn't matter what we build, what we construct, what we design.